The Tick Trader is designed to enable traders to trade very quickly and to view various forms of tick chart data. Setting it up. To get started, simply drag and drop the Tick Trader from the Expert Advisors list in MetaTrader 4 Navigator onto a chart. Make sure the Allow Live Trading and Allow DLL Import boxes are checked and that Auto Trading is turned on. You are now ready to trade using the Tick Trader. Displaying the Tick Trader. You can position the Tick Trader anywhere on your desktop or on the chart. If you want to pin it to the chart, simply click on the top left icon and select Pin Unpin and then drag the Tick Trader to the size you want. Overview The Tick Trader is set by default to display ticks of both bid, in red, and ask in blue on the market of your choice. The Y axis displays the price and the X axis displays the time. To change the market displayed, simply click on the top left button here and choose the market from the drop down menu like this. We have chosen Euro Dollar. At the top right, the box displays current profit and loss and lot size and whether we are long or short. At the bottom right, we can see the current bid and ask prices, and next to that is the box where we enter the lot size we want to trade in. Here we are changing it to 0.1 lots. Trading using the Tick Trader Because the Tick Trader is designed to enable very quick entry and exit, all trading through the Tick Trader app is on a first in, first out basis, meaning that a sell will close the previous buy order and vice versa. Placing orders with the mouse. You can place buy and sell orders by clicking on the bid and ask prices in the bottom right of the app. This displays a pop up panel with buy or sell pre selected, depending on whether you clicked on the ask price or bid price. The trade size will be whatever we put into the lot size box here. Using the mouse allows very quick two-click trading. You can close an open position by clicking on the position profit marker in the top right of the app like this. This pre-fills the dealing panel with an order which closes our position. In this example, we are long 0.1 lots and we can see that the panel is pre-filled with a sell order for 0.1. Placing orders with the keyboard. We can trade with the keyboard using the B, S and C keys. As we can see, pressing B has the same effect as clicking on the ask price. It pre-fills the dealing panel for a buy order. S is equivalent to clicking on the bid price. It pre-fills the panel for a sell order. C has the same effect as clicking on the position profit marker. After pressing one of these keys, we can then either amend the order details. We can move from the Place Order button to the Volume field using the standard keyboard Shift Tab shortcut or simply press the spacebar rather than having to click on the Place Order button. We can close the panel without placing a trade by pressing the Escape key. Placing quick orders using the Control key. For extra fast order entry, we can use the control key. We need to turn this option on by using any of the above methods for opening the dealing panel and clicking on the allow control key for quick order entry box. We do not need to place a trade. We can turn on the control option and then cancel the dealing panel. Using the control key is then equivalent to opening the trading panel, either using mouse or keyboard, and then clicking on the place order button without changing the pre-filled settings. So let's have a look at the options for very fast trading. Control B or holding down Control while clicking on the ask price places a new buy order using the trade size shown in the footer. Control S or holding down Control while clicking on the bid price places a new sell order using the trade size shown in the footer. Control C or holding down Control while clicking on the position profit marker closes our current open position. Charts. The app provides several different types of tick chart, accessed via the drop down menu to the right of the symbol menu. 
tick charts. The tick chart shows each change in the bid or ask price and the chart updates whenever either price changes. The amount of time between each point on the chart can vary depending on how active the market is. Tick speed. The tick speed chart shows each tick plus grey bars indicating the time between tick. The time is a rolling average calculated over the number of ticks specified by the numeric field in the toolbar, for example, the average speed of the last five ticks. The shorter the grey bars, the shorter the interval between ticks appearing. Timed charts Timed charts show each individual tick, but the x-axis of the chart is divided into equal amounts of time. Because the frequency of ticks depends upon the level of market activity and not on time, the chart can show bursts of activity interspersed with periods where the lines are flat because no new ticks occur. Tick candles The candle chart shows traditional candles with an open, high, low and close, but based on a number of ticks rather than a specific duration. For example, if the period for the chart is set to 5 ticks, then each candle could represent anything from 1 second if the market is active and all 5 ticks happen within a single second, through to as much as a minute if the market is quiet and it takes 60 seconds for 5 different ticks to happen. Candle charts are based on the mid-price of each tick. Tick charts are compiled from the time that the app starts running. It does not provide access to historic tick data. Options and settings We can change options and settings for the app using the controls in the bottom left corner of its window. Chart Shift The Chart Shift button allows us to add some space to the right of the chart. History Length The History Length setting controls how many ticks are displayed on the chart. Pause chart. The pause button suspends the drawing of the chart. The software continues to collect ticks and it updates the current price and the position profit marker. Download. The download button downloads the entire available tick history for the selected symbol as a .csv file showing the date, bid price and ask price. As you will have seen, the Tick Trader is a great personal trading assistant and is rich with features designed to help you trade more efficiently with better tools and better information. For further information, please contact us or check the website for the software's detailed user guide.